Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the FAIR Act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. First, I want to say happy Saturday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And please, y'all, watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble. Okay, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. There is a lot of more information coming out about Puffy, Okay. And where on the street is, y'all, there is another tape that could be released any day now, okay? Now, I don't know if they're going to release this one because Kim Porter's family might not want this released. They might try to fight having this released. I don't know. But if I was Kim Porter's family, I would want this released, to be honest with y'all. So people can just continue to see um, just how big of a monster that Puffy is, y'all. So, word on the street is, there's another tape of P. Diddy allegedly, allegedly, allegedly putting paws on Kim Porter. Just like he was putting paws on Cassie on that other tape, y'all. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And y'all, I was listening to the radio today when I was out. And I heard somebody on the radio station say that... This might not even be Puffy that's that's in the, in the room in that hotel with her on that footage. I said, I do not believe some people will do anything to cover up for what somebody else does just so they can still be a fan of them. Y'all, I, I didn't hear it at all when I heard that one. I was like, really? Why would this woman lie about something like that? It makes no sense why she would lie about something like that. And why do they think that he settled so fast? Because she had all this dirt on him. That's why he settled so fast. Okay, y'all. Now, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about Kim Porter's family. Should they allow this other tape to be released? And this tape is going to show him doing the same exact thing that he did to Cassie to Kim Porter. This is ridiculous, y'all. That somebody could be doing all of this stuff to these women and everything else and study getting away with it. This is this don't make no sense. But you know, these females better stop chasing these celebrities. They gotta stop chasing them too. This is another thing. Now word on the street is this woman named Cola just came forward, y'all. And everybody's talking about it. But this woman right here, she said that she spoke with Kim Porter. And she said that Kim Porter let some cats out the bag, y'all. And she told how her how she was being treated by not only Puffy. But how she was being treated by Cassie, y'all. Now, a lot of people is giving Cassie a pass because she was young and, you know, young and dumb and didn't know no better. Okay? And this is what, what they do. A lot of, I noticed this a lot. A lot of guys, um, they try to put um, black women against other race of women. Especially when they, you know, trying to date both or cheating on them with another race or this and that. I've noticed that a lot with like Hispanics and stuff like that. They try to have Hispanic women and black women going, you know, at it over them. You know what I'm saying? Try to make it seem like they're better than the other and this and that and that and this. So when this woman came out and said this, I believe every word that she said when she came out and said that Puff Daddy was um throwing it in, you know, Kim Porter's face. When he started dating Cassie. And she said that Cassie. Y'all. Was mocking. Kim Porter. She was mocking her. She thought that she was better. Because she was light skinned. And this and that and that and this. And we have a lot of that going on. We do. So I you know, I believe when they said this. And I'm going to say this too. Just how you get them. You end up. Getting putting yourself in that same situation. See, Cassie, like I said, she was young, so some people give her a pass for that. But some people, even if they are young, they not dirty. Okay, and you gotta think about that. Um, Kim Porter had kids by him and everything. And even if she was being mistreated or this and that, netness, Kim Porter, 
I don't think Kim Porter had any kind of ill will towards Cassie at all. She don't seem like she's the type of person that had any kind of ad attitudes or anything towards somebody, even after they were dating Puffy too. Now, maybe she would have not liked it them, possibly. But from the stuff that she was putting up with, I just don't see her, you know, in her feelings about Puffy like that, to be honest with y'all. Okay? Um, this meant, You talk about somebody that was putting paws on her. Um... In the spotlight, he acted as if he liked it, Kim Porter, but behind closed doors, it was a whole nother thing what they were saying that's going on. The security guard came for it and said that they was, you know, there was a serious pulse session going on to the point where Kim Porter started, you know, she started hitting back. Like, I, you're not going to keep treating me like this. It's about to go down. She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Puffy. This is why he has some type of scar that he has on him, y'all. Now, word on the street is that tape that just came out, he cannot be charged for. But there's so much stuff in the vote, y'all. There's so much stuff on Puffy, word on the street, that he's going to be charged with any one of these charges. It doesn't matter that he's not going to get charged for the whole Cassie stuff, which I don't understand because they're saying something about the limit. It was 2016, this and that and that and this. But if there was a cover-up, shouldn't there be, I'm just saying, y'all, some type of clause for her to still press charges? If somebody is covering up a crime for years, you can't help that. You cannot help that. And then the truth come out years later. That shouldn't be in their defense. You know what I'm saying, y'all? They should still be able to be charged for that. But we're going to see what's going to go down with that situation, okay? Even if he's not able to be charged with that, it's still on everybody's mind, okay? And even if other charges come forward, they're going to use that as an example. My, my personal opinion, okay, y'all? But um, this is what they're saying. They are saying that there are so many more tapes right now. And like I'm, I, I, I'm wondering right now, seriously, y'all, is these the tapes that they raided the house and got? It have to be. Because why now? And why are all these tapes coming out? And people are talking about them and everything. Now, some people are saying, y'all, some people are saying that... um. Puffy son coming out, talking his stuff and everything. He kind of peed the feds off, and they're saying that this is why some of this stuff is being leaked. But I don't know. I think that the stuff was going to be put out there anyway. If his son would have came out and said something smart or not, I think that it was still going to be put out there, y'all. But let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that um Puffy going to continue to get away with this mess? Because it's looking like... They're going to keep digging and digging and digging until they get something that's going to stick. I think they want him, y'all. I do believe that they want to give Puffy a little time. Do y'all think that all this stuff is just going to be in his favor? That everything that they pull out the vote on him, that it's going to be, you know, the time is up and this and that and that and this? Because I don't think so. I think sooner or later, they're going to, you know, get something. I don't see them going and raiding his house and doing all of this stuff for nothing. That's number one. Why would you do all of this when even after feds already knew about this tape and this and that, that and this, or they heard about what happened at this hotel, they had to know the law already before they call themselves going to look for the tape, that if there were not going to be any, you know, charges pressed against him. So it got to be something more than what they're showing us right now, especially with people saying that he was snitching. Now, word on the street, they already, a lot of people starting to come forth saying that he been a snitch. This is why he is not locked up right now because of the fact that he's been working with the people for a long time. But how could you be working with them people, y'all? How in the world can a feds let a criminal work with them and he's out here doing more dirt than he probably bringing to the table telling them? Like, I don't understand that. So he gets to get away with everything that he's out here doing just because he's coming and bringing stuff to the table about other people. But this is the rumor that's going around right now. I'm going to say allegedly, but word on the street. I've been hearing he's been snitching too. This is what I was telling y'all. I was finding out about a lot of stuff, okay? Um, this is the same woman right here that not, not only is saying that um, some of this stuff is Cassie's karma. Basically, this is what this woman's saying. She's saying basically that Cassie is getting a little bit of her karma back when she started getting them getting into them pulse sessions with Puffy because she was taunting. 
I'm just saying, y'all, Kim Porter. Sometimes you got to learn the hard way. And I know, like, like I said, she was young, but sometimes you got to learn the hard way how to treat people. Even if you are young, you still, I, I've been young myself, but I never mistreated people. And I wouldn't have that in me to be taunting somebody. You know what I'm saying? This woman said that, this is the same woman that came out and said about the uh, monthly stuff that, you know, Puffy tried to make Kim Porter. It's disgusting, so I don't want to even say it. But her monthly, y'all, okay? This is the same female that said this, uh, this whole situation. And this is disgusting. And she's saying that Cassie, y'all, was laughing and taunting and acting like she was better than Kim Porter. And then once Kim Porter out of the way, he started treating Cassie just like he was treating Kim Porter. So a lot of people are starting to say a lot of stuff that happened to Cassie is her karma for how she treated Kim Porter. Y'all, it's a lot of stuff coming out right now that don't make no sense. Now, let's get to this next portion of what I need to talk about, okay? I did the numbers, I do believe, on Twitch. And I said that somebody took this man out in that hotel room. He did not take his own self out. Now, word on the street is, Puffy is tied to Twitch's passing. Do y'all see how many bodies that these people are tied to? They're saying that there is footage, y'all, of somebody leaving his hotel room the night that he passed. Okay, y'all, or the night before he passed. And now this information is about to hit. <laughs> y'all, Shitaka is about to hit the fan. Okay, y'all, because it's a possibility due to the fact that they're bringing this back up. Y'all, this man's case might be reopened. Because they said he did this to himself. And everybody was like, nah, we don't think so. We don't think so. They try to make us think that this guy was, you know, had invested a whole bunch of money and he lost all his money. And I think that this is what they wanted people to think. But why would he do that? Why? I can see you invest in something, but not take everything that you have and invest in something. You know what I'm saying? And, and take a chance of losing everything. That I don't believe in the first place. Okay? But now that this new information is coming out, there is a possibility that this man's case is about to be reopened. And they're saying that all fingers are pointing to P. Diddy. They said that this man knew some dirt, y'all. And I'm not surprised that he wouldn't know no, any dirt. Because he's in that inner circle with Ellen DeGeneres and all of that stuff. He gonna hear some things. And word on the street is he heard some stuff with Puffy and them was into and what they were doing and what they were about. Who, when, where, what, and why. And they wanted to shut him up, y'all. This is what they're saying. They wanted to shut him up. And they have footage of the hotel of who came out of that hotel room. And they're saying it's tied to Puffy. Y'all stay tuned because Shitaka is about to hit the fan. Okay, y'all. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.